would you describe our evolutions? Because it's been a, a mutual conversation, especially with the team you're on, um, examining the issues and then trying to evolve a process and a way of investing that responds to that. So we, we went through this process of working with agencies, developing outcomes, thinking about the donations that people make to the United Way as investments in the community. Then the, the, there's sort of this inflection point that we came to, which was now we're gonna think about broadly, what are the goals? What are, the, what, what are we trying to achieve in the community? And the reason that was important, that conversation, was because to me, we, we seem to be able to start to hone in on what do we really want? And we started to notice that a lot of our agencies, while doing tremendous work, are treating symptoms. And that's the, that was sort of the point in time for me. It was, oh yeah, we're treating symptoms. What are those root causes? You know, in some ways, our investments are a mutual fund kind of strategy. So what do you see is the, or what have you struggled with most in terms of the challenges of that? Well, yeah, you've, you've hit on the, 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 I think the core issue, which is, is how do you take a finite number of dollars and figure out how to distribute those dollars in a way that addresses some of the prevention while at the same time sustaining some of the, the necessary symptomatic uh, activities that we need to address. And we're addressing the whole picture, helping assist with the parents, helping the, the children avoid adverse childhood experiences. So it's sort of that big picture, holistic view and the challenge is how do we get there on a limited budget, so to speak, yeah. so. What are you excited about um, in the United Way's work and for the community in general? I think the, the, the excitement for me is the progress that we've made over the last eight years has really set the stage, so I think we're much more honed in on the root causes. We're starting to talk about the opportunities that are out there, and I think talking about that uh, will help generate additional funds to drive that forward. Uh, as people see, hey, I have a chance to impact children in this way, and we know through research that we can affect the outcome if we do this. I think that's very powerful, motivational, and I think people will be willing to, to donate more, make a greater investment in the community. We're going to constantly keep our eye on the future, on the horizon, what do we want? And I think United Way has helped us do that more than keeping our eye just on, well, we have we have, not to discount any of these other issues, but we have issues in the community we need to address them. They're urgent issues, emergency issues, we need to deal with those. At the same time, if you want the community to be better, if you want to stop some of the, the flow of people into that, you have to do those preventative activities. And United Way has driven us that direction. And I think that's very healthy. I think it's good for the community, particularly in today's world where there's all kinds of things going on that are in society that are not desirable. That foundation is very, very important, and United Way is a big part of that. So I would encourage people to participate from that perspective.